Welcome to the Volume of Revolution video tutorial. In these examples, we'll be looking at different shapes and we will be determining their volume through first principles and through Maple's Volume of Revolution tutor. Example 1. Determine the volume of a sphere of radius 1 unit centered at the origin. Step 1. Use the definite integral from the expression palette. Here's the expression palette here on the left, and this is the definite integral template. Just click on it, and here it appears. Now the letter that is highlighted represents the lower bound upon which we are integrating. So remember that if a sphere is centered at the origin, and its radius is only one unit, then we are integrating from x equals negative one, and press tab to go to the upper limit, we're integrating from x equals negative 1 to positive 1. Press tab again to now enter in the function or the integrand. Now in the worksheet, the volume of revolution worksheet covers in more detail how to determine this formula. The volume of a solid is equal to the definite integral with the integrand as the area as a function of x, which comes out to be pi which you can get from under the common symbols palette, pi times r squared, where r I mean as the uh, radius perpendicular to the x-axis, or y of x, 1 minus x squared, and press tab again, and we are integrating with respect to x, so just enter that. And now by going to the context menu, simply go to evaluate and display inline and there's the volume of the sphere 4 over 3 times pi by going to the line below we are now asked to verify the answer using the volume of revolutions tutor step 2 load the package student calculus 1 just go to tools load package and student calculus 1 Step 3. Enter the function in math mode. Now we know what the equation of the upper half of a circle is. It's simply f of x equals the square root, and you can get the square root from the expression palette. Here's a square root template. Just click on it. And now fill in the rest of the equation of the circle, which is just r squared minus x squared which is really, in our case, 1 minus x squared, since our radius is just 1. And now step 4, go to context menu and right-hand side, and go to the context menu again. Go to tutors, calculus single variable, and volume of revolution. Notice here that a hemisphere pops up. That's because we have to change the interval over here, and we're integrating from x equals negative 1, press tab, to positive 1. So that's our interval a, b. And let's approximate, although we will also be determining the exact volume of the sphere, let's also approximate the sphere with, let's say, 15 disks. Okay, and just go to disks under the display menu and click display. Now we have a full sphere. Here's the exact volume given over here, which is just 4 over 3 pi. The definite integral is also calculated in its entirety. And the volume of revolution tutor also gives you the approximate sum by summing 15 disks. And it gives you a volume which is quite close to 4 over 3 pi. Simply highlight this output, press Control C to copy, and close. Go on the line below, and paste. And just click yes. And there's a full solution to determine the volume of a sphere. Example two, determine the volume of the solid formed when the region enclosed by the curves f of x equals x, this red line here, and g of x equals x squared, this green line, is rotated about the x-axis. 
Step one, using the function template, enter both functions. The function template is right over here under the expression palette. The letter that is highlighted represents a function. So let's do the first one, f, press tab. The function is in terms of x, and it's equal to x, hit enter. And the second function, just click the function template again, is g, in terms of x, is equal to x squared. And just press tab again to go to the right, hit enter. Now step two says, Using the definite integral template in the expression palette, enter the formula for the volume of the solid. Under the expression palette, we can find the definite integral template and just click on this one over here. And let's define the lower and upper bounds. And in case you're not sure of the bounds of integration, just look at the diagram below the question. And here are the two curves and they intersect at x equals zero and x equals one. So let's fill in those values, x equals zero, press tab, x equals one tab again. And from our worksheet uh, that you can go through uh, to learn more about the formulas that we use to determine the volume of a solid, the integrand is pi, which you can find from common symbols, pi times f of x squared minus g of x squared. Now press tab again, and we are integrating with respect to x. Hit enter. And the volume of the solid formed when we rotate the region enclosed by the two curves about the x-axis is 2 over 15 times pi. Now let's verify our answer through the volume of revolution tutor. Step three, just go to tools, tutors, calculus single variable, and all the way there at the bottom, volume of revolution. Notice that there's another function over there by default. Let's type in the functions that we are concerned with. f of x equals x, press tab, and g of x equals x squared. And remember that we're integrating from 0, press tab, to 1. Just click display, and notice that the volume of revolutions tutor gives you the exact answer which we already had uh, received before. It gives you the exact answer and an approximation of the exact answer. But if you'd like to know how the Riemann sum looks like, we can approximate that by going to Disks under this display menu here and click on Display. So it gives you the exact answer again and it also gives you the Riemann sum with six uh, disks, for example. And you can change the number of disks in, in the approximation by just going to the number of partitions. So if you wanted to use 10 partitions or 10 disks, just change that to 10 and click display again. And now your Riemann sum uses 10 partitions. Notice that we finished the question pretty quickly. But when it comes to harder questions, you might be asked in the future to determine the volume of the solid about x equals 2, the vertical line x equals 2. In that case, what would you do? You just go down here to the line of revolution and click on vertical and x equals 2. And just click display. And now Maple gives you the volume of that solid formed about x equals 2. You can also do it for negative 3 or any value. If you wanted to do it about y equals 1. Now that's a horizontal line. So then you click on horizontal, enter in y equals 1, and click display. Geometrical issues you'll have to note yourself and make sure that they are correct. So let's go back to our original uh, case that we were dealing with, which was 2 over 15 pi, the answer that we got. Copy with control C, close, and paste. Just click yes, and there is a full solution that tells you how to determine the volume of this solid. Thank you for viewing the Volume of Revolution video tutorial provided by the Maple Adoption Program.